Hello, Monsters Abound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and Part 3 of my Throt campaign. Last time, we tried to take on Kostaltin, and we're going to continue to do that. We're going to take Aaron Grad, because I feel like if we take Aaron Grad, I mean, one, we'll get the port, which will be good. Will we get the port? I'm fairly sure we'll get the port. Um, am I now? I, I was thinking about this, because I saw this, and I was like, oh, there's a strategic location there. And I, I hadn't, like... Am I imagining this? But in Warhammer 2, did they remove the strategic location icons for everyone but the factions that the strate strategic location was for? So, for example, if I was playing Throg, I would see that. But if I was playing Throt, I wouldn't. Am I right in thinking that was how it works in Warhammer 2? Because I swear it is. And they seem to have reverted it. Right? 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 Anyway, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I don't I don't know where you're going. I'm just going to ignore you, I think, is the best. It's probably the best thing to do. Meanwhile, we're just going to head down to Zoishnet, grab that. I feel like if we can knock out Castelton now, uh, killing him early, probably a good idea, right? Don't really want him getting, like, bear cav or anything like that. God, a lot of factions die very quickly, don't they? Like 16 turns. I mean, I, we're 17 turns in. I'm fairly sure it starts with like 260 odd factions. And now it's down to 180 something. Thanks. Thanks for agreeing with me. Right. I don't know what you're doing. Is our garrison good enough to fend that off? Probably. Yeah. Well, you know, if you're washed, maybe it wouldn't. Low. How much is low going to be? Oh, that is... That's actually low. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair play. Fair play. Hello. Of course. Of course what? Never mind. Okay, you are recruiting. You, you torched Castle Alexandrov, which is fine. I want Erengrad. I wonder if we can get you to help me with that. I feel like I feel like Helper is probably going to be fine. Can we actually build defences here? We can do. It's probably sensible to do that just to be on the safe side. Helper could be quite tanky, and I also am nervous about uh, about uh, Katarin. That's the one. Almost called a Kalida. Yeah, I, I know, I know, Throt, I know. You're, you're, you're famished. You're famished, lad. That's fine. Uh, what do I want here? I... Making, me, making it more killy is fine, but I don't think it's... For Throt, it's not really super important. Um, I'm kind of tempted to go respected and feared, because eventually we probably are going to have some storm vermin in this army. We've got clan rats at the moment, but... Eventually, we, we, the, the total number of clan rats we want is about zero. Master Mold. I mean, more casualty replenishment rate for our boys. Sounds good. Upkeep reduction sounds good as well. We can have both of these. I'm, I'm tempted to go for the re replenishment first, but... It's just going to give us a little bit more income. It, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So we do have the clan Vulcan Tail Slashers. They are clan rats, but they have fire. That's that's their thing. If I merge these guys, and then we can just get these. They have. If, if we kind of link them up with, uh, is it these guys who have the, the flaming propane perspiration? Propane perspiration and propane perspiration accessories. Then... If we can, because they have fire attacks, we can link them to them and then they'll just do more damage. I mean, they're still clan rats, so the amount of damage they'll do is negligible. But still, it's it's something. It's trying to build a synergy. I'm doing my best here, people. Right, we want to kill. Hello. Marauders all. Enter then. Are you after a drink, a fist fight, or both? Okay, you're a vassal, so you actually quite like us. That's good. That's nice. It's nice to be liked. Does... Hang on. Hello. Ah, you'll find me a generous prince. Your grandest desires fulfilled. But not a defensive alliance, so... 
You'll give me a reach around, but you won't help me militarily. <laughs> what experiment? It, you know, it's it's fine. I, I, everyone has to draw a line somewhere. <laughs> kind of want to keep. Oh, I'm not going to get that much replenishment. Okay, Telsian, you know the drill. You know the drill. You go there, and we'll see if we can lure these these jerks, jerks in for a little little fight. Yep, once again, somehow, that it's still a pyrrhic victory. Uh, I'm going to give that to you because I feel like you know extra, extra not dying chance, pretty good. I'm also going to get some uses of this. It's a shame we can't see how much food we actually have in total. Only a minute and 21. And, I mean, you've got your, your melty face slaves. You'll be fine. Once again, Talcian has, uh, has been exceptional bait. That, yeah, while their kids live, they, they will do that. Hiding with his friends. And he's still alive. He almost got caught. But even if he did, at least he's not just by himself. He's got some he's got some little friends there. So moving the rat ogres and the wolf rats into the trees on our left flank. It's just a case of overwhelming all of these Cossars with sheer weight of numbers. That's the plan. Hit him in the flank with the Rat Ogres. Smash through them. And then into the rear of any unit currently engaged with Clan Rats. Who, of course, are pretty bad at dealing with, well, anything. They're clan rats. The rat ogres are beefy boys, and of course, we've got the mutant rat ogre. Yikes! Eight kills in one hit. That's not bad. The rest of the Ratogas then pummeling the Cossars into paste. If these guys had spears, they'd be slightly more dangerous. But as it is... They're going to get absolutely... Torn to pieces by the Rat Ogres and the Wolf Rats. Although, they do have some Armoured Cossars on this side. Who could potentially be slightly trickier to deal with. So we will bring in some Clan Rats to help out there. Get them in the bag. They should be fine. We've used... Our, so, I mean, our Skaven Slaves are, like, roided up to hell, right? But we've, we've got these Armoured Cossars surrounded. And even surrounded, our Skaven Slaves are... Just not really doing very. I mean, you know, they're they're slowly doing some damage, but also the Cossars are racking up the kills very, very rapidly. I mean, the thing is, we do have a lot of Skaven slaves, so it's not really a major problem. Castalton is once again just getting. He's just got clobbers. Admittedly, we did triple team him, so it was Throt, Brad, and uh, and Ted. They just wail on him until he died. And being on a horse is a large target, which means that the uh, the pack masters get extra bonus first large against him. The armored Cossars slightly tougher to deal with than the, the unarmored variants because they have armor. But the Ratogos have armor piercing. And uh, with Castalton dead, it's just a few holdouts still fighting on, surrounded by clan rats and uh, Skaven slaves, like these lot over here. Uh, look, look at these guys. They've got 153 kills. 
They're surrounded and they've got 153 kills. And the Scaven Slaves have got like 8. And these guys have got like 27 melee attack. Fortunately, it does look like the Armoured Cossars will, will break and then get pulled down by the Skaven Slays. Wolfrat's coming in from behind here as well to Nom at the Armoured Cossars. And again, they've got quite a good charge bonus. 50 charge bonus, not bad. The Rat Ogre's helped as well. Well, Talcian lost, you know, some of his, some of his lads, but he's fine. What the fuck are you doing over there? Right, if we could just move in and grab Aaron Grads, just, just, just snipe it. Get in there. And then we want to, like, just say hello. Hey, buddy, what's going on? You have, just standing close to me. You don't understand personal, personal space, do you? Get in, get off my shits. Okay, you have pulled back there. So, let's just get in here. It says crushing defeat. It's not... It's not sugarcoating it, is it? It's not sugarcoating it. Okay, let's just maintain the siege there. And we will bring... We will bring Telsian in. He has got yet another skill point. Look at that. Uh, let's give you evasion, because if we give you plague, that would be very useful. Got Brad, who never skips leg day, because I've decided that, uh, thinking about it, Throt's faction is basically just a bunch of gym bros. They're just, like, bulking up any way they can. L literally any way they can. Okay, you are a concern, but probably... I can I can probably deal with you, and even if you take a settlement, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be that bothered. Uh, know your place, pretty good for a start. Obviously, giving us a little bit of uh, extra loyalty there, and requires take everything, does it? Oh, that one. Oh, we could get you know what? Let's get ferocious plans because casualty replenishment rates, upkeep reduction for Skaven slaves. Considering that we're gonna you know pull them out of our juice. Covered in juice. Uh, let's get a couple of siege towers here. I mean, we can, we can just probably siege them down at this point. Oh, a wand of jets. A wand of jets would be good for you. So we'll give you that one. And you got the, the, that's that's okay. No, we'll go with that. They may decide to attack us, and if they do, that really works out for me. I'm kind of hoping Azizel comes and helps. Because because he's at war with them. If we attack the settlement, he will join us. He no, he did he did not. Well, you win some, you lose some. Oh, a saucy bards. I bet he knows all about juice. Okay, we're just going to maintain the siege here for a little while. You cannot do any recruitment. And we don't really have much much else to do. Well, we can upgrade Zoichnek, so I guess we'll upgrade Zoichnek. To be honest, get, getting these settlements isn't really that useful. Do we get... Because I, I don't think this game get affected by corruption, do they? Can, well, I guess this could be multiple different types of corruption at the same time. Oh, I didn't realise we generated food... Oh, interesting. Int I didn't realise that we got more money. Okay, so at low low corruption, we get more food and control. And at high corruption, we get more income. Huh. Interesting. I genuinely didn't know that. Are you going to pick a fight with me? You are going to pick a fight with me. Yeah, okay. Well, who else are you more with? Clan Ferric. Okay, that's kind of a problem... I know, Throt. I know. It's disappointing. 
It is disappointing. All right, income from post battle loot is good. They haven't decided to come and attack us yet. It's a valiant defeat now. They've taken some damage. So if we if we whack some food in here. I think we will probably want maximum. We we can do this. And then we can take Aaron Grad. We can beef it up. Defend it. And then we can send Throt over to deal with the rest of Kislev. While Telsian holds Erengrad. We'll take a little bit of damage from the towers as we charge into the gates, but they'll only get a few volleys off. And I've tried to get those wolf rats. I should have used the wolf rats as cover, to be honest. I should have spawned them in immediately. And uh, then let them charge into range of the missile units. Let the missile units shoot them instead, because I don't care what happens to them. Got our siege towers heading for the walls. And then over the other side of the battlefield, we have some wolf rats that were hiding in the trees. They've now come out. They're gnawing their way through the gates. And some Kislev units moved up to try and sort of like block block them, but we then hit them with a menace from below to slow them down because my plan is we're going to gnaw through the gates and then the wolf rats with their considerable turn of speed are going to make straight for the objectives at the back of the, the city. We are through the gates. Time to cause maximum carnage. Wolf rats starting to starting to, to decay, but that's fine. Don't care about them. Do get the nice little bonus from Throt there. They've also one of these guys I think has got the the banner of yeah the banner of flame banner of flame that one there. So it boosts up base weapon damage by eight percent every all around them, which means everyone around them is going to get nice. So basically, these rat ogres in a blob are m murder murder boys. Talking of murder boys, we're going to try and kill Ivan Ivikin with our mutant rat ogre. He should do fight. He's got he's got better stats than the general, so we should be able to take him down. Rat ogres hitting any unit they can get, get little hands on. Wolf rats already grabbing this key building here, which will reduce everyone's melee defense by 15% because they're currently boosted up, and leadership as well, which obviously will help. So, in a minute, everyone's going to take a big dive in their melee defense, which is going to make life easier for us. Telsian's turned up, but I've, I've, I've forgotten about him, so, you know, he's fine. Armor Kossar's trying to fight against the rat ogres. But it's no good. The Rat Ogres, they're just beefy boys. They're beefcakes. That's it. Pommel them into jam. Losing a few Rat Ogres, but that's fine. Uh-oh. But uh, Mutant Rat Ogre over here. He's, he's taken a little bit of... He's taken quite a lot of damage. And he's being battered by armoured Kossars with great weapons. He has done a fair amount of damage dealt as gold, but he, he needs a hand. I need to send some Rat Ogres to go and help him. Meanwhile, on the walls, we are slowly swarming and bringing down the armoured Kossars. Some of our units have climbed down and engaged the uh, armoured Kossars on the ground. Uh, oh no, 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 we've hit him with Skaven Brew. That, that reduces armor. Probably not the best idea, actually. Never mind. Need to get some Rat Ogres in here to help. Just give him, give him cover. He's got 376 health points left. That's not very many. Meanwhile, we've taken the key objective over here. We're grabbing, oh, we've, we've taken, we've taken the victory location, which means our victory tickets are now ticking up. We get seven every second, and when that reaches the maximum, we basically win. Uh, Mutant Rat Ogre, 145. Okay, we 
could, 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 we, could you not die, please? I can't replace you at the moment. 85. Okay, that's not great. Some clan being Oh, thank God he charged himself out of combat. Good, right. Um, just yeah, just get just get just get out of there. That's it. 85 hit points. You're fine. Maybe a couple of broken legs. Some exploded livers, that kind of thing. And it's fine. We can patch you up. We can patch you up. It's fine. You're safe, as long as no one shoots you. But I don't think there's any enemy units nearby that could actually do that. So we're just going to hide you in the gatehouse there. Not outside the gate, just in case someone grabs a tower and shoots shoots you with it. Just in the gatehouse there so that you're safe and you won't die. 85 hit points. That's, that's fine. Yeah, those that still have arms anyway. A few units are still dicking about in the centre there, but you can... Yep, yeah, there we go. Army loss is taking effects. They're now using their... By our bloods. Which means in 30 seconds, this battle is over. Maybe even quicker if... If our victory tickets actually hit maximum before... Before 30 seconds is up. But to be honest, either way, we've won. Grad is ours. And Kostaltin is dead. Well, we almost... I'm going to call him Chad. We almost lost Chad, but we didn't. Oh, we don't quite have enough food. We can do it at level 3. I feel like level 3 is is fine. And we get the Grad docks. Ooh... Only gives us 100 income. Okay, thought that might give us a little bit more. It does, it does give 800 at max. So, you know, there, there is that. Still, not as much as I was hoping for. We do get pots, though. Love me a good pot. Love me a good pot. We do get a little bit of growth there. And, you know, replenishment isn't too bad. Get respected and feared. Good for the experiment, uh, can we actually... Rec hang on. Can we recruit Storm Vermin? Yeah, we should recruit Storm Vermin. Storm Vermin are pretty good. Not gonna lie. Uh, we do have... Re right, how much juice do we have? We've got... Is that how much we have? 462? So we haven't actually got enough yet. But it's getting there. It's getting there. Oh, we could... Do we, we probably want to do uh, Master Molder. So that poor old Chad heals up a little bit quicker. Did take a little bit of damage during that fight. He's fine, though. He'll walk that off. He'll be fine. Right, Telsian, you can just chill there for a minute. We do want to give you Plague. And I think now these guys are probably almost dead. They're taking attrition due to the fact... Yep, they have no hope. Come to me as a friend. I was a great friend. Just ask Sigma. I, I'm not really taking references at this point, but thank you. I really do want a military alliance with you. Just because then, you know, at least I've got someone on side. Is there anyone else that kind of likes me? You kind of like me. Uh, you are not going to like me. What about... Th he kind of likes me. Border pressure challenges. But at least it mm. means another meal. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that on the chin. I mean we're making you know, we're making we're making cash. All hail Rat. It's fine. I'm gonna give you some slingers. And I'm guessing you'll probably attack this, which hopefully should then be pretty easy to deal with. Okay, we'll get the growth there. How much growth do we have here? Three. In seven turns, we can actually upgrade to the next next rank of building. Should we go? I'm surprised. You didn't actually attack. I'm surprised. You're just wandering around. Nicely, Throt is beating up the dwarves, though. That's good. That's going to protect our northern border. I want to concern myself with dealing with the realms of men, not fighting my potential friends. Because let's face it, I'm, I'm not going to find any friends down south. Gonna go ahead north. 
It may be grim up north, but at least they kind of... We, we kind of have similar interests. All right, Telsian, you're in command of Erengrad. Defend it with your life. Do I want Erengrad Harbour? Yes. It's quite pricey, but I will do it. I'll get the clan armory as well for the moment. I'll get those defences up as, just because I... I can just see Austin not being too, too thrilled. I know your wants, your desires. Still, say them out loud. My God, you're a creepy bastard. Like not not sexy, just weird. I mean, I I know. Look. I know there's some people going to disagree with me on this, but Slash is basically tits, snakes, and tongues. And I'm, I'm sure there's someone immediately already going down to the comments, actually, what's this about? I think you'll find that it's about perfection. And it's like, no. No, no. I mean, that that's what they say it's about. But realistically, if you look at basically anything, it's just tits, snakes, and tongues. Which is fine. I just, I just think that they need to be honest about what Slanesh is about. That's all. It's fine. You know, if look, if you look at the Chaos Gods, all four of them, and you personally identify with the god of tit snakes and tongues, that's fine. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not. I don't. I, I'm not. Right. I, I'm very open-minded. But at least. Just accept that that is the case. Don't go. Oh, it's no. It's it's about you know perfection and desire. No, it's it's tit snakes and tongues in that order as well. I probably don't need the defenses. Eventually, we could probably make get rid of the defenses, but then the defenses give us money anyway. Oh, hello. Oh, you decided to attack me. You got this guy as well. I do have. Ah. I do have a mod that gives like lords or, or special heroes, so I'm assuming that's that's that one. Yeah, you, you died. You died. Uh, do I want some? You know what? I'll take it. We're just sort of like meandering our way back to to Skaven Blight, where we're going to replace our clan rats with storm vermin. Hunting slave, which. Gonna be honest, we don't read it. Right, the Grand Orthodoxy is dead. They are out of here. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna save up. We're gonna save our mutagen. I'm gonna hold Ooh, we can get remolded. Obviously we're doing that. Obviously we're grabbing that one. And it just kind of makes sense to get flesh snatcher, doesn't it? Love me some extra replenishment. Love it. Uh, I kind of tempted just to give you more melee defense. Something like... Something like that. Okay, Storm Vermin is going to take a couple of turns to recruit. We don't necessarily... Nope, that's not what I wanted to do every single fucking time. Uh, one, two, three. Four. Could get some more wolf rats. I think I think I think we'll stick with that for a minute. We'll stick with that. We could always do some raiding just to piss them off. Telsian, do some raiding. Just Do we not get food for raiding? Do we not get food? Food generator. Oh, we do get food. Plus three food. Not that we really need it, but uh, do we not need... How much food can we have? We're, uh, we're 81%. Okay, so, you know, a little bit of extra food. Not the worst thing to have. We'll take that. Especially while we're building a little army over there, which will be good. I, I, I do want to take the mutagen, but I'm going to hold off. How long before we get the... Oh, it's going to take three turns. How much was this building? 3k. 3 fucking k. 
But he's not really going to even do that much for me, is it? Realistically. I... You know what? I might get... Take in my aspect and revel if I give you Zoishnik, to serve. Good. Just ha I don't really want it to be honest. It's not really going to do anything for me. I'm tempted to give you Fort Strogoff as well. You can trust me, just as Sigma himself once did. Yeah, you've got a real like Sigma is living rent free in your head, isn't he? How much do I have to give you? Seven k. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Maybe later. I don't really want Fort Strock. It's not really going to do anything for me. Like, having Erengrad is useful. Having Hellpit is useful. Having a a settlement with, like, Mage... mage to, be, to be honest, any any province which doesn't have a capital is absolutely fucking useless for me. I also don't need an outpost right now. Because if I build an out... It's, it's not probably going to give me anything useful. I guess Chaos Warriors... Chaos Warriors are quite slow, though. Speak too slow, I... Hey, buddy. You want me to join your war against those guys? Uh, uh, mm, mm. You... Mm, well... How do you feel about these guys? That's what I really want to know. I'm going to say no, but I'm not going to rule it out. Not going to rule it out. Okay, you're going to still be busy for another turn, which is fine. You're going to continue to raid them just to piss them off. But for the moment, they aren't trying to kill us. Radiate in my aura if I give you Fort Strogoff and I join your war against those guys, that would do it. That would do it. You know what? I think I'm going to go for it. Good. I think I'm going to go for it. So we've got some friends. How do these guys... Do these... Oh, you guys get on with each other. Okay, that's... That is good. Throg is going to be my friend as well. We're going to have friends. We're going to have friends in the north. Look at this. This is... It's all... It's all see? I'm doing the diplomacy thing. Melee attack for clan rats. Charge bonus for clan rats. Expendable for clan rats. All useful things. Having the harbour is going to be good, because that will give us some extra growth. We can upgrade uh, to level four. Wait, how? We could get the arcane generator. That does kind of make sense. On the other hand, having strategists. Uh, let's get Scrot. Scrot is going to join Telsian to boost up his forces. We're going to get... Oh, you've actually... Oh, you, recruiting Skaven Slaves gives you the... God, these guys are insane. Uh, I didn't I didn't realise like recruiting Skaven Slaves also made them all juiced up. That's good to know. Yeah, Telsian's just, just raiding shit. If I, if I build... Neither of those are a good option. I'm just going to say no. In fact, don't tell me about outposts or upgrades. I don't care. I think, rather than Scrot, you're kind of like a Greg. I think you're a Greg. Big, beefy Greg. There you go. Train, train the slaves. Not sure how that's going to go, but... give it. I mean, we could take Prague, couldn't we? It's... Do you have... You don't have any armies. Interesting. Also, what's what's this quest? Creature killer. Emb oh, embed a warlock engineer. Yeah, well, we don't have a warlock engineer, but in one turn we can upgrade... That. I mean, we could maybe just attack... 
I'm tempted to attack, but the problem is you've only got Skaven Slaves, so you're probably not actually going to do very much damage. I wouldn't mind a guaranteed Mutant Rat Ogre. I think we're going to save until we get a guaranteed Mutant Rat Ogre. Are you going to declare? Yeah. Never mind. Azizel's now your problem. Hello. We don't really need the food. Have we got the guaranteed? We do. Let's do it. Two mutant rat ogres and two rat ogres. That is not bad. Uh, let's... Can we beef you up a little bit? What do we think? Uh, what's your speed? Your speed is 77. What, what, you've only got 40 armor. So you know what? Weeping blades... Upkeep reduction for this unit. It's not really a useful, but we'll we'll slap that on you. That'll unlock that one. And then we'll still only instability one. And that does give him He gets Oh, is that just the effect? I thought that was actually a Minus fifty percent. Oh yeah, no, he does get. It. But yes, there we go. He's got he got he's got zero armor. But he only had forty to start off with. So you know, realistically, at the end of the day, does it matter? Nah. Nah, it's fine. You know what I would like? Maybe some infantry augments. Ooh. I mean, storm vermin with frenzy is quite fun. Uh, I kind of want to give this to these guys just to sort of like unlock New these two. <laughs> so I mean, these guys cost two sixty each, <laughs> Me, um, like or two two three <laughs> with this one. So we can just do that, get some more, get some more monies. Don't seem to have anyone defending Prague. I reckon we can sweep in there and grab it. Okay, Telsian, you're gonna have to pull back. Slight. You've kind of pissed off a few people. That's fine. That's gonna take five turns to build. I wonder if we can, like, lure them. I don't think they'll attack Erengrad. I think Erengrad's a little bit too rich for their blood. Unless they can get, like, a couple of stacks there. In which case, we've got Skaven Slaves to try and hold them off with, so that's probably fine. And also, we can take Prague, because apparently they haven't defended it, which means we'll have two of the three Kislev major cities, and Katarin isn't trying to kill us yet. Yet. That'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.